Oh my God. What's up, everybody? We're back with another Tool Deals video, and the Milwaukee deals are just getting better and better and better and better, okay? It's a special buy of the day, so let's hurry the heck on up. First of all, I'm ignoring all four of those. And let me just explain why. Again, there's nothing wrong with brush tools, but for this price, I mean, $259 for just this brush conglomerate of stuff, more brush conglomerate of stuff, I mean, you can do better. I mean, you can get, I mean, right now, you can get that six inch angle grinder, that four and a half to six inch angle grinder for 130 right? And if you want to impact driver and, and drill, we know we can get, we were able to hack and get the hammer drill, the big boy, for $99. And then we can also get the um, impact driver for like $70, right? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> 259 it doesn't make any sense. So no, I don't like none of that stuff. Moving on. Yo, we're going we're gonna to get to this. But if you haven't already went and, you know, bought this while I'm talking, I don't know what's going on with you because you don't, you, you just must not know what this is. So um, yeah, we're going to talk about this over here. Now, granted, while it's still talking about that impact drive and all that, let's let's pull it up. Y'all see, I started pulling up tabs, but then the deals just got so good and in abundance. I was like, forget it. We're just going to go through the whole thing. So this impact driver is not weak though. It's brushed, but it's not weak. And it's actually stronger. And I mentioned this before, that the M18 brush stuff is stronger than the brushless fuel M12 stuff a lot of the times. And this is one of those times. This impact driver is 1,500 inch pounds of torque, okay? So I'm not saying it sucks. I'm just saying you can get the get a M18 fuel version for around the same money right now if you go piece together deals instead of buying the bundles sometimes these bundles are just overpriced versions of what you could just buy individually so in this case though this is not the case this is a good deal here this rocket light is only what 229 and this rocket light is great it's humongous but it's great i love it um and i just like i love the little small m12 when they all have their own uses but I use them both equally. The one I haven't used, I have the big, big, big boy with the three different heads and all that. I haven't even opened that box yet. I had it. I had it for like a year and a half. I just, I don't know. I just haven't even got around to opening the box. When I look at them, like I don't feel like opening the box. And then I just pull this out and it works. It's good enough. So there you go. But this, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. This is the wide mouth bandsaw. This is, it toots itself as being the best bandsaw out, period. I don't know about that. I've never got my hands on it, but at this price, I'm thinking I might try it. I'm, I'm running out of money. I think I like to try this because I, I compared the Matab, which I still have never posted that video. Oh my God, it's been like five months. I would compare the DeWalt, because remember, we got a crazy DeWalt deal last year. It was free <laughs> during the buy one, get one. It ended up being like $80 or something like that, which was incredible. But the DeWalt is made of a lot of plastic. I compared it to the Matabo HPT. The braking system was awful, um, you know, but it was lightweight and had some cool little features like the handle could uh, adjust. And, you know, they both had the Raptor hook, but it had like onboard storage for the Allen key, which I don't know what this does. We have to get in our hands to find out. When I compared the Metabola HPC to the DeWalt, I was saying the DeWalt had a bad break and the DeWalt was made of plastic. The Metabola HPC was made of solid steel. Boy, that is well-built bandsaw. And that breaking was incredible. It, it, it's, it was like unreal. I don't think the Milwaukee can break as good as the Metabola HPC, but we'll see. But um, yeah, so this is normally $400. It's normally $399. You get $100 off plus getting this impact driver that you, I mean, excuse me, this impact wrench that you guys love so much. And again, for those of you who wonder what, every time I say that, people say, why you don't like that? One, I don't like it because it's weak for a size. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> it's weak. 250 foot pounds of torque. Now, come on, man. This should be stronger than that in the M18. 
It just should be. And I, I don't like the day. Fuel. Fuel where? Come on now. You have, I have right here a, um, Metabo HPT does make a compact version. I don't have it, but I have a Makita right here. Matter of fact, hold on. It just came. I didn't even open it up. I know it's little because the box is teeny as I don't know what. 430 foot pounds of nut busting. 430. 430. And this does 250. And this was $140. So, I mean, no, I don't like this. But 299 for the whole thing, though. Psh, psh, boy, that's a, I mean, I, why is, again, you didn't buy it yet? What you doing? Moving on. All right, so these might look familiar. These are the de deals that popped up yesterday, but they're not hackable. They're just, you buy it on, you keep the kit. And in a lot of cases, which is funny, because the cases where I said, look, you want to keep all these. I, I wonder if Home Depot will, like really watch my videos. Like, okay. Okay, so they did that one. But um, where I was like, you're going to need these for the runtime and like with the light, you're going to need big batteries. And I was saying they just spend the 199 and keep them both. Well, here it is today. Listen, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, and real quick, let me just explain. I'm actually editing and realizing I never explained what I was saying. Uh, the reason why I think Home Depot watches my videos is because if you notice, if you go back and look at the video yesterday, I'm going to leave a link to it up here. Uh, there were some deals where I said, don't hack them. Just get the 6 amp hour batteries. Just keep them. Keep everything because you're going to need them. And... What, I mean, they did put the rocket light up here, but the main one that I was talking about was like the inflator. It's not on here. Like all the other deals are on here. That that inflator is not though, because they want you to go pay two hundred dollars. They want to mark that one down. That is hilarious. All the same deals. These are the ones that are one nineteen are usually one twenty nine. So it's just ten dollars off, but they're non hackable. Uh, I would suggest. Uh, Anything that came with two 6 amp hour batteries, get that deal. So I, I like this cutoff tool with the two 6 amp hour batteries. If you made purchases yesterday, I mean, you might not feel like going through the hassle for over the $10 because you have to return and then rebuy this or buy this today and then return the other one. You could do all that, but, um, you know, it's $10. But if you waited to, <laughs> until today, hey, good job. You, you listen to your gut. So you have your... <clears throat> oscillating tool here 189 now uh, in the video i showed you yesterday if you hack it this comes out to be um 85 dollars or something like that right 85 86 dollars and it works well with with the little two amp hour battery honestly like i prefer it with the two amp hour battery because it's just more versatile I, I don't feel like the six amp hour batteries are necessary for this and six amp hour batteries you're going to need them for like circular saw uh the the rocket light Things of that nature. So um, the vacuum or the inflator, that's what you want the 6 amp hour batteries for. Like stuff like the oscillating tool runs perfectly fine on the little CP battery. And now I think about it, shoot, I wonder how this thing performed with like an XC 4.0 or 6.0. Man, probably wow. So anyway, we have the circular saw here. Again, everything is just $10 off. You know, you got to keep it. So keep that in mind, you know, good deals, good deals. And again, come back to this. Jeez, man, with those six amp hour batteries, I don't know, man. This is this you won't you you won't be disappointed if you bought this. I know I said wait for like a high speed ratchet, but jeez, you wouldn't be disappointed. You know, you wouldn't be mad if a, another deal popped up on a high speed. You wouldn't be mad. Trust me, you, you wouldn't be mad. So this is still a good deal. This right here, I gotta oh, I gotta get this its own tab right now. I gotta give it its own tab, yo. This is normally $299. There is no lies told there, and it comes with an extra socket set. It gets this nine piece socket, and I think this is probably like $50, $50 or $60. These Milwaukee sockets, these impact rated ones are no joke. They're expensive as I don't know what. And again, this is $299, and it is the king of all kings. Maybe. Uh, the Metabo HPT, the Torque Test channel, did a good head to head with them. And the Metabo HPT is no slouch at all. Then we factor in the lifetime warranty and the you don't the the non need for a high output battery. They just make good battery. All their batteries are high output, the 36 volt. And then when you could comp compare 
the fact that it can run off of AC power, an adapter, and the battery, it is a better value than the Milwaukee, hands down. And um, I just kind of did a little test with this RV, changing the sway bar end links. My, none of my mid torques could get that, that bolt off, but this bad boy was just like, Boo! and I said, okay, let me try the Metallo HBT on the other side. I had, I had to crank them all the way up, and that one too went, Boo! just took it off. So, man, they good. This is a little bit smaller than the Metallo HPT though. So it's a little more compact, a little more refined. I do like it. I I, ha I kept both. I didn't I didn't get rid of one. I'm keeping both too. So anyway, I say all that to ramble. This is a really good deal. Two oh nine. I paid two forty nine with mine with a battery. I don't know how many years ago. Five years, four years ago, a long time ago. Anyway, and then mine looks beat the crap. I mean, I dropped it in transmission fluid, oiled and got all in it. Still was running and working like a champ. I. I'm very close, if not already, out of warranty. So, still works good. Moving on. There's your rocket light again, 189. And remember, I told y'all, I told y'all yesterday when I made this set, I bought it on a different type of deal. It was a bundle, it was 179. It might even 189. 179, 189. And it came with all of them, but the 199 was a good deal. Here it is. There you go. See, told you. I am no liar. All right, moving on. These aren't bad. These little, um, this little ten-piece socket set. Uh, if you were into the flat, because the sides are flat. So let me tell you why this is cool. So I needed this actually yesterday when I was changing the thermostat on this other RV. I have a two RVs. One has a Ford 460 in it, and the other one has a, a Chevy 454 motor. I just, I'm just a Chevy guy, y'all. I can't really, I can't give with these Fords, man. I like that when I, I like that RV for its own rights it has, but I the drivetrain man I don't really like I, I don't like working on the Ford I really don't the Chevy is way easier and I just like the way the Chevy sound and how they feel I always been a Chevy guy anyway um, th but this would have been helpful yesterday so I could not fit a socket in this little area to get the one of the bolts off on the thermostat housing. So this would have been helpful because these things are squared off. So I could have just sat a 14. Do I have 14? Yeah, I got a 14 millimeter. I could have just put that 14 millimeter on top of there and then used a wrench to just turn it right here. Grip it on here and turn it. Now you could have said, or you could have just used a wrench. I mean, yeah, because that's what I ended up doing. But sometimes you get better leverage, especially if you're able to have a car up on a lift. Uh, and you can have a long breaker bar or something like that and uh, turn it that way. $27 is not terrible, but I mean, it's only, a, it's only a few dollars off from the original price. And, you know, a lot of these things like this, I was looking at this, like you have this fast back and it's not the big boy with the screwdriver in it. Uh, and then you get these, um, these wire strippers and you get a pack of what is it like a 50 pack yeah 50 pack of blades and it's 35 dollars and that's basically regular price during a holiday sale and that's it so i'm gonna hurry up and release this video so you guys don't miss out and these things don't sell out see you next time